There's no from them uh, sending to the plug to put you to plug your plug in the what you say in the socket. It's a blackout. No, until it comes, we have to wait. No. We have to wait the electricity to come. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نويت الأربعين نويت الاعتكاف نويت الخلوة نويت العزنة نويت الرياضة نويت السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد I was أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأريد أمر منكم It's an honor for us to be followers of Sayyidina Sheikh Nazim and Grand Sheikh Mawlana Sheikh Abdullah Faiz at Dagestani, whom connection goes to Sayyidina Shah and Naqshband all the way, and from there all the way to Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Siddiq to Prophet وسلم, through Sayyidina Ali and through Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Siddiq. As I said, if there is no, you plug, you plug in the socket, if there is no electricity, there is no light, it's blackout. <coughs> So you need to get that electricity. And electricity always comes from them. You cannot produce electricity. Can you produce electricity? You have to get it from the main source. If the main source is closing his switch, it's off. Nothing. What you speak is going to be like a, a normal presentation of a scholar which has no light in it, people go sleep, get sleep in the presentation. But when there is light, people awake. So, now put the light off here, 10, 15 minutes, what happened? They sleep immediately. Huh? So we are asking madad and support, Ya Madad, Ya Masahib al Imdad, Ya Sayyidi, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Rahmatan lil Alameen, Ya Shafi al Muznibin. So, as we explained before about Sayyidina Shah Naqshaband, what we said in the previous session. After he made his, there is one missing here. Ali. Ah, he went with. Uh, so, when he went the journey, wonder, in that journey, wonderland. Wonder he's wonder, wandering in a wonderland. You were here. I heard it. Mm. They don't go a journey in, on earth only. Their journey, siyaha, is everywhere in the universe. Getting all these knowledges and realities from Prophet wasallam that he, Allah gave him everywhere because he brought him to Kaaba, Kawsaini, Aw Adna means he passed everywhere. So, he has to pass because Kaaba, Kawsaini, Aw Adna is it in the limit of dunya or is it the limit of non-dunya? You understood? Yeah. Or I repeat? repeat? Is it in the limit of mulk and malak or limit of malakut? Means it is it is beyond creation or in creation? It's Kaaba Kawsaini Aw Adna. Kaaba Kawsaini Aw Adna means he was so near to reach, not to reach, he's in that honorable, holy <coughs> station, better than to say place, because Allah has no place, cannot take. But in that divinely 
in that in that divinely manifestation of his beautiful names and attribute because there is a question here Allah sit on this throne they ask you if there are a group of people they ask you this question if they want to check your tawheed Allah sit on the throne or Allah does not sit on the throne how Allah how Allah sit on the throne if you say Allah sit on the throne that's not correct then how Allah what he will do with the throne how? Because throne is a place. That's why Taha ma anzalna alayka al-Qur'an al-Tashqar. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim Taha ma anzalna alayka al-Qur'an al-Tashqar illa tathkiratan liman yakhsha tanzilan mimman khalaqa al-arda wa al-samawati al-ula Allah is giving an oath that you, <coughs> Ya Muhammad Taha, ma anzalna alayka al Quran ali tashka. We did not reveal the Holy Quran on you to suffer, but we revealed illa tazkiratan liman yaksha, only to, to remind those who are aware or fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ar-Rahman illa tazkiratan liman yakhsha tanzila mimman khalaqa al-arda wa samawati al-ula Ar-Rahmanu ala arshitha It's revealed by the one ascended the Holy Quran by the one who created heavens and earth. That one, Ar-Rahman on this row how stawa how you translate that word there is no way of its translation because you cannot say Allah said on this throne stawa ala al-arsh means he overtook the throne encompass bestow, bestow he bestow his greatness on the throne means throne gone we cannot see is he manifested he overtake the throne i don't know in the english translation encompass it overtook encompass this throne you cannot sit say he sat on the throne there are some they say so Allah brought Prophet وسلم, to that divinely presence where no space. And where is no space? It's beyond space. But, so beyond space is something related to the divine presence. Isn't so Prophet وسلم, reaching that reality and Allah is giving so from that secret awliya Allah they in they are inheritors of that mi'raj of that ascension according to their stations they cannot go beyond their stations so their travel is not like our travel their travel is everywhere that their power, that what power Allah gave them, Qudra, that Allah gave to them, can reach. But no one can reach where Prophet reached. They reach where they are able to reach and they are able to, they are able to take the realities from Prophet so Sayyidina Shah Naqshband, that one he was 31 years of age. He was traveling by 
for permission of Prophet وسلم, on 7 of Muharram. On the 14, he was sent back from wherever he went in this universe and beyond this universe, I don't know. But he is taking realities and knowledge. He was sent, them, sent back, why? Because Awliyaullah, they can understand the importance of shukr, shukrullah, to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are you, you thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Huh? Do you say shukran lullah? Thank you, Ya Rabbi. Huh? You say? No. Some people they say. They say, Ya Rabbi, thank you. Thank you on what? Hmm? For everything, huh? What is everything? You say for everything. Why? What is for everything? To help be healthy? To be wealthy? To be, to be rich? To have work? To have doubts? To be sleepy? To be meditating and thinking? Like the, our friend there sitting there. <laughs> thinking about what is going on. Huh? What what is thinking what? Uh -huh. for you. To make us human beings and the and the followers of the professors. Allahu Akbar. From where are you getting this knowledge? From you. <laughs> the highest level awliya Allah of thanking, thank, uh, to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that what Prophet said, and we mentioned that before, what Prophet said that Ya Rabbi when he asked him, who am I and who are you? He said, you are the subduer, Al-Qahar. And I am a servant, your servant. <clears throat> Means I am thanking you that you made me a servant. So Awliya Allah, they understand the importance of being a servant or else, if you are not servant, so what you will be? Oppressor. Oppressor. What you will be? Shaitan. Disobedient. What you will be? Huh? It's nothing to be. If you are not a servant, means you are not existing. Oh, thank you, Ya Rabbi, that you made me to exist. Or else, you are in Adam. Where is our friend? He disappeared. You are in Adam. Absolute, unknown, in a, an uncreated reality. You are you are nowhere, you are nothing. As if you don't exist. This is your picture, you cannot see it. Now you can see it. Why you can see it? Because you exist. If you are not, you don't see it. We cannot see you. Thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you created, Ya Rabbi, you created us thanking you because you created us or else we would have been not honorable, not honored. Allah honored, honored the human being. We have honored them. Honored them. We gave them Muhammad Naum fil barri wal bahar. We carried them in earth and in land, uh, in ocean.
Uh, looking here, look here, there is nothing. It's empty space, is that? Is there anything here? No. There is nothing here. We say that is void? Right. Void. To us it's void. So if you if you were not existing, we cannot have a space. But to Allah there are two kinds of knowledge. One, they can see who is in the void even. And they thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they see that they have been created as servants. They thank Allah twice, the Tamil. Because for them there is no void. Everything is full. They can see what you cannot see. Here must be Allah can make can create thousands and thousands of human beings. As we said yesterday, there are angels trembling always in Allah's presence. Allah created them only to tremble, to shake. Why? He wants to show all other prophets or other angels. Look, they are shaking. Why? They are fearing me. I am Al Qahar, the subjuer. What Allah did with, with uh, Iblis, cursed him. Because he didn't see this one that they were trembling. He knew that Allah can destroy him. But he has so much arrogance that he disobeyed. We are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that keep us in his mercy or else we will be lost. Come doctor. Come, come here, come near. Uh, yes, sir. I'm shy. <laughs> Don't be shy. So, they are trembling. Others are crying. As they are crying, Allah creating from every tear that comes from their eyes, another angel and that angel is crying and these tears coming Allah creating angels and angels and angels and they are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah creating more from that group no we explained it yesterday that Prophet وسلم, looking no beginning no end for them and continuously coming and uh, praising and praising and praising and written to Ummatun Nabi Sallallahu That's why Ummatun Nabi, Ummatun Marhuma. Ummatun Marhuma because forgiving Ummah. Because why? Because they are already under that tajalli, manifestation of these of this, uh, praises, and it's been written for them. Angels do it and give it to them. They do, what angels want to do with it? They are innocent. They are masoom. They don't do mistakes, so they don't need it. But Allah ordering them to make praises, to praise Prophet, to praise Allah and be written to whom? To Ummatul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's why in Day of Judgment, how you appear, how you are coming up with all these dress, all different dresses of sincerity and piety and worshipness that angels are doing on your behalf. So when he was in that travel, Sayyidina Shah Naqshband, when he was 31 years of age on 7 of Muharram, he was moving with that huge power, beyond power of uh, speed of light. Why? Because there is, I, I explained it many times, there is a power more than speed of light, the power of thinking, thought. They can move with that power, some, some awliya. They say, I'm now moving to Mars, he'll be in Mars. I'm moving to that planet, he'll be in that planet. But he has to know the knowledge of these planets and their names. 
Allah taught Adam every name that he created. Even a, a dust, it has a name. The dust, even dust on the, on the ground, cannot exist without a name. Go outside and see how many, in the garden, how many dust you have. What you say, particle of sand, particle of the soil. How many? Take a piece of mud and dry it and spread it. And can you count them? You cannot count them. On every one, it exists within it. It has a name. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّ Allah taught Adam all the names. Everything. Why? Because I, as we said before and we explained from Awliya Allah, because of the, he was giving that knowledge to the light that is in Adam. Adam and whoever under Adam is under my flag. I was a prophet and Adam between clay and water. I was already prophet and Adam still in in a, a what you say mold, molded molded in a molded for still molded still in construction. As we explained, Prophet وسلم, also was in training under con that his essence was under con continuous manifestation for 70,000 years. The, his soul, his light. That from that light, Allah created the light of creation, the created creation. Adam also, for physical body, he was being molded for 70,000 years. And Prophet is watching. Allah, is, uh, Allah gave authority to Prophet, to his soul, to, to watch, to see, to his essence. Because when he asked, Prophet asked, Ya Rabbi, did you create? We explained that. Anyone before? He said, you are the first one to be create your essence. I, yet not, no one. So when Adam, Allah taught Adam the name, he is teaching Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, because he was light in the forehead of Adam. That's why he ordered angels to make a sajda for Adam. So every name he knew. So Awliya Allah, if they don't know the name of these planets, they cannot go that with the, they have to, this, because when you want to go from one place to another, your destination is known, isn't it? <coughs> Say, I'm leaving from San Francisco, going to Los Angeles. You know where is your destination. So Awliya Allah, they say, I am leaving from this place, I am moving to this planet or that planet. With the speed of thinking to be in that planet, he's there. With that speed. That's Thai. Hakikatul Thai. Everyone has in his heart these six realities. One of them, Hakikatul Thai. These folding earths. Folding the space and time. It will Allah subhanahu subhanallah katay sijili lil kutub. Kama badana awala khalkin no idu. Wadan alayna in la kunna fa ilin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said we will fold space and time like folding a book. When you fold the book, you can go deep in the ocean of that book. Because the pages are near each other. But if you take these pages and put one by one, how many space you need in this room? Take, there is 300 pages here. Take one, 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 one and put them. It's not enough here. Double six hundred. Yeah. So you put them. How how 
How you can fit here? You cannot fit here. So what you need to do? You fold it as double-sided and become this much. Now, with these computers, you can put billions of pages. <coughs> Subhanallah. The day that we fold, have a skies and universe, like we fold a book. Yeah. Look, this will give you, the computer will give you the understanding. This is the book you are folding, huh? Yeah. and still there is thickness. The computer, if you have it on a chip or a CD, do you have any thickness? What is the thickness of the CD? millimeters. And how big files can take? So many more. If if Allah if Allah gave a human being the science of folding the books into CDs, yeah. mm -hmm. what do you think Allah cannot fold universe into smaller than CDs? And he can fold universes Smaller than a CD that you can travel in for Awliya Allah. That they can go in it. We can go now in the deep secret of a book. Yeah? You can read book and you go. Awliya Allah cannot go also deep in this. If Allah fault for them the universe, they cannot go through it as we go through a book. They can. As the book is being folded to become a CD, thousands of books today, they have them on, a, on one CD. It's not? Computer engineers? Huh? Put them on your phone. I saw some doctors. Oh, we have a doctor here. Whenever I ask them about a medicine, one second. They got the phone. Yeah. Well, but they have the medicine, what everything about it, the price of the medicine, if it is cheaper in this uh, pharmacy or that pharmacy or that company, every detail they give you from a software. And it is in their phones. Oh, wow. And they tell you which pharmacy you go and buy it. It's cheaper. And what is this? That is. Awliya Allah, when they say in the khurujihim ila al fada, he said when they go into the universe, he didn't say in the khurujihim ila al siyahat al ard fil ard, he said ila al fada, in the space. يا معشر الجن والإنس إن استطعتم أن تنفذوا من أكثر السماوات و... بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا معشر الجن والإنس إن استطعتم أن تنفذوا من أقطار السماوات والأرض لا تنفذوا لا تنفذون إلا بسلطان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان أو جن أند إنس الله إسلي in Statatum, if you were able to penetrate from the Akhtar Samawati or Art, from uh, different levels in the universe, and you can go beyond the Earth and through the skies and through universe, you can do that. You can do. You can. Fanfudu, do it. La, what you cannot do it. La tanfuduna illa. You cannot do it without a power, a sultan. You need that power. You need that kudra. I'm allowing you. Means I'm allowing those who are sincere and pious. You do it. No problem. You can. وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا I have under, made under your control, your, your touch, ha, heavens, universes, and earth. For you, do it. 
I'm not hiding it. I don't need it. I create it for you. I love you. I mercy you. I gave it to you. You go for it. But you need what? You need a sultan. You need a power. That sultan, sultan wilaya, the reality of sainthood. Reality of sharia. Because awliya Allah, they don't break the sharia. If you break the sharia, you are not a wali. <coughs> they erase you. And they then don't give it to you because they know you are going to break the sharia. They don't give it. But Allah is merciful. Prophet sallallahu Allah sent him as mercy for humanity. Still they give. When you repent, they give you no problem. Ya Allah, give him. As when your son do something wrong, you forgive him. Yeah. He come and say sorry. Then what you the way to say to him? Okay, okay ya Allah, take this hundred dollar also with it. <laughs> huh? You can do. What do you think about Allah and His Prophet? They give to Awliya Allah without looking at what they are doing. They give them, but they don't break the Sharia. So everything has a name. So if you don't know, know the name, then how are you going to reach uh, for destin your destination? So Awliya Allah, when they, Allah gave them, they inherited from Prophet Wasallam, depend on their levels, different names. Like doctors today, they have different practices. You might ask Dr. Uh, Beats about uh, surgery. Yeah. He might tell you, no, it's not my practice. Yeah. Ask me about uh, pediatrician. Yeah. He is an encyclopedia in pediatrician, is not? Yeah. But you, you are not this, this, demeaning him. You say demeaning him? Mm -hmm. Putting him down. If you say he is not an encyclopedia in surgery, He's not. So whatever they do, surgeons, he might have an idea. If it is necessary, he might do it. He might do a surgery. If it is necessary, what you can do? In a war zone, what you do? You do anything. So, but he prefer not to do it. Awliya Allah the same. Every wali has his specialty in front of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That one for bad desires, that one for envy, that one for jealousy, that one for this, that. And he gave them different medicine for different difficulties or different uh, 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 sicknesses, spiritual sicknesses. I was looking here, but I didn't came to it because you cannot uh, do everything. So I wanted to go into the bad the bad characteristics, and he counted here 115 bad characteristics. 115 of bad characteristics. We know there is 70,000 bad characteristics. But here, for the murid, there are these 115 are the major ones. Like the mother, umbrella, and the rest comes under them. 70,000 between you and Prophet To You have to eliminate all of them to reach the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad 115 is counting for the for Naqshbandi Murid to learn how to eliminate them. Because if you eliminate them, these 115, you begin to see you begin to feel presence of awliya might be passing, might be going, coming, smelling their smell, nice smell when they come, you can smell that. Or you have a cool breeze coming. Or you see them. But to profit, you have to eliminate all. So Sayyidina Shah Naqshband, when he went, and he knew where he is going, his destination, by inheriting some of these knowledges from Prophet Wasallam. He reaches, he was able to go through with his speed that beyond the speed of thinking. And if you say, I'm leaving from here to China, 
Wali is able to, as soon as he's, he think I'm moving to China from San Francisco to China, he finds himself in China. Without, not, not, no more than that you need to do. Allah, fold space and time. Allah cannot. Yes. Allah said he can in Holy Quran. Just now we explained it. That's reality, hakikatul tayyar. You have it. Everyone has these six powers. One of them is hakikatul tayyar. So he said he was moving with a power bigger than hakikatul tayyar by 7,000 power. In this uh, universe. More than Hakikatul Tai by 7,000 times. Imagine. If he say Hakikatul Tai, I want to move from here to the next destination, he can move. And their destination is not like us. Destination is in, uh, is like aeroplanes. They have 600 feet, 800 feet. <coughs> 1,000 feet, 2,000 feet, as they are up, they call it by the measure of the, the altitude. It's not like on Earth, you write, uh, all of them is the same, you go here, you go there, horizontal. horizontal or circle. No, it is different level in the universe. So they have to pass through every station, and they have to know the name of every station. Like aeroplane now when moving, they show you on some of these uh, screens picture uh, a, a contact, a contact that there is a a a, a radar, 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 and there is some people behind that station, so the captain can speak with them as he is moving around. Yeah. So every station has a captain. Every station. You don't read the seerah of Prophet ﷺ when he was reaching for seven, mm -hmm. second heaven. Yeah. Jibreel knocking at the door, asking who is coming. He's saying, Prophet who, who ordered him to come here? He has Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah. discipline. Yeah. Even Prophet, he was, this is teaching. Yeah. He didn't read the seerah, Mahbub. Yeah. When Prophet ﷺ in Mi'raj, on Burak, first heaven cannot go in. They stopped. They, where they stopped? There is something they have to stop. There is a station, as we are saying. They cannot stop without a station. You cannot see the station. They, cannot, they can see the station. That's why I said there is, uh, this is void for us, but it's not void. This is void, but it's not void. There, there is something there. We cannot see it. Awliyaullah, this, when they look in the universe, is not void. There are stations. And they know the name of these stations. So as Prophet ﷺ, for Prophet, doesn't need to stop on dunya stations. He stopped on Masjid al-Aqsa and immediately, no station all the way to heaven, first heaven. But Allah, they have stations in this, like in uh, Sears Tower or this high building. You go inside, where you want to go, where you are going, you have a special lift for all the way up to see what you call uh, 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 observatory at the, at the end. It takes you 100, I don't know how many, 120 uh, floor. One minute, you are up, 100. But for those who are working there, they have to go station by station. Go first floor, second floor, third floor. They cannot go up and then going once they know. Prophet ﷺ is invited by the Creator. Doesn't need go stations. Just directly. One second he was at, that's why his uh, mattress was still uh, warm when he came back. One second, w less than one second. We said last time physicists, they try to see how, 
how much lower than a second they can count time. They were able to count less than one second. Until 10 to minus 22 of a second, the time disappeared, and then energy. It means there was no time when the Prophet moved, his energy was there. And stopped at that station, heavenly station. Not yet. Dunya station, he doesn't need to stop. So they asked him, knocked at the door, Jibreel knocking the door, who is that Jibreel? Who is with you? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Is he being ordered? He said being ordered to come for, to, to Allah's presence. Open the door. Go to first heaven. Look inside, inside everything. Must be everything he looked. Then second level, second heaven, third heaven, seven heavens. Then, as the Sira said, as was moving by himself. Jibril said, I cannot, fall, I cannot go with you more. You go by yourself. Went by himself. Awliya Allah, they have stations. They have to stop on every station. According to their lift. If they lift past that station, there are different lifts. The first lift take you first station. Second lift take you, might be two, two levels. 100, 100 lift, 200 lift, there is 124,000 lift. Every prophet has a, every wali has a lift. Take him quickly. So, he has to know all these stations. A wali has to know all the, where he wants to go. Sometimes he doesn't want to go all the way, he wants to step at the fifth station. Or 124,000, he wants to stop at the middle of it. Or he wants to stop the here and there. So he used the lift that he wants. He was going with a power more than normal by 7,000 times. Getting all this. When they move, they are seeing. It's not like us. When they see Allah pour in their hearts from what from prophets be given permission by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pour in the heart of the wali pouring completely by reflection from eye to eye and their hearts knowledges depend on the station they are reaching and they are he was going with that 7000 power at a time more than normal thinking And he said, not one hand, hand, span, 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 hand span, was being left without his feet touch it. Yeah. He turned all that in the universe didn't go beyond the universe in this universe receiving whatever knowledge can be received because he taught Adam all the names means he taught Sayyidina Muhammad all the names and all names that he didn't create only given to Prophet didn't see, Adam didn't see the, those who yet not in creation, but for Prophet, he knew about them because he is Prophet for them also. From that secret, he was receiving, these secrets he was receiving, and turning back on 14 of Muharram in 17 days trip and night, going back to his room. And as he went back to his room, in order that, why he came back? Because he didn't want to come back. If you leave him to his own will, he would have stayed there. He likes it more. Awliyaullah likes wherever they go. They don't want to come back. But he, was re he returned back for something important. That Khudr alayhi salam was, you know, even between Awliyaullah, sometimes there is competition. 
They like competition. For the good competition, not for the bad competition. For uh, to learn and to do like it. When he was Khidr alayhi salam looking and seeing, he was observing like how he was with Sayyidina Musa. He was happy. Sayyidina Musa, it is a competition, yeah. but both of them okay. This one, Allah gave this. The one. He was surprised, stunned, what kind of knowledge Sayyidina uh, Shah al-Nakshban received. He was, he's wondering. And he went into such a situation, so he came to him veiling himself by 24,000 veils in order not Shah al-Nakshban to know him that he is Khudr alayhi salam. Do you think he is, he is completely hidden and he will ask him a question? So he asked him a question. Why you lowered your maqam? Because Sayyidina Shah, he knew Sayyidina Shah Nakshman wants to, he lowered his level so down in order to be able to sit with his followers when someone coming from this high like a high transformer of energy you cannot get electricity from it you need distributors small ones why you reduce yourself to a small one when you were a big one so this question was in the heart of Khadr alayhi salam to ask him and he came to him in a veiling himself as if a normal person, to ask him a question. He didn't say the question. He didn't say, I am Khadr, as soon as he looked He said, Ya Khadr, why are you veiling yourself? <laughs> 24,000 veils you failed yourself. You think I'm not going to know? What Prophet gave to me? And to Awliya Allah gave them knowledge with it. I just coming from this... Uh, Siyaha from this tour, Wonderland, Wonder, uh, not land, Wonder Space, Wonder space, space, travel. space Travel, and I don't know what you are also preparing for me, a question? I know your question already. I will give you the answer, and we leave the answer for tomorrow. One minute light, Tawfiq, we are al Fatiha. Sahib happy because he said, Don't tell today. Oh. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> Khan, 